So here we are back at the scene of the crime. I was here last night. This is the lobby of theater. Oh, lobby of theater. It's here in Cape Town, by the way. And uh, just to show you, it's a, I guess they bought up the net board. The, the Europa Cinemas um, has some partnership with them. And it was celebrated 70 years last year. And lobby of theater, as you can see, there's Table Mountain right up there. Got little clouds over it. When Table Mountain's like that, they say it's the devil's tablecloth. Actually, on one side of Table Mountain is uh, Devil's Peak, and the other side is uh, Lion's Head, or I call it Lion's Head and Rump. Anyway, I'm at the Lobby of Theater because I was here last night, and I love the Lobby of Theater. It reminds me of the of the, uh, the theater I grew up with in the South Bronx, the Bronx Movie Theater, right there on 49th Street, you know? Out there in Mount Haven section of the Bronx, hey! So I've been going, anyway, so it reminds me of that. So I like, I really like this lobby of theater and they've, they've really kept it the way it is. Anyway, back to the point. Uh, so I was here last night and I saw uh, Birds of Prey. Okay, uh, now, the thing is that I, there had been some stuff talking about the Birds of Prey and I haven't really been paying attention to it, but the whole thing about the men won't go because the feminist movie or something like that. And it's kind of weird, you know, because, uh, you know, I saw the movie, I, uh, you know, I like movies, you know, whatever. And so, um, I understand what they were saying, but I think it was just a ploy. They just put that out. I mean, but there's something happening in Hollywood because, uh, really, seriously, all the men <laughs> in the film, or as they say, dicks, <laughs> all of them, not one is a decent person. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> back to the point. Um, uh, so I, I don't know what's happening in Hollywood, but I guess, you know how they, they, they do these uh, cycles anyway, so now I guess we're in some sort of feminist blah 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 cycle, whatever it is. I always notice that, you know, as, as black people arise, and that's when the women come and, and, you know, steal the thunder from black people, but that's a the story from another day. Um, I say, I, I, so I saw Birds of Prey, I liked it very much, I, I really liked the black character. She has a secret weapon that, uh, you know, I won't reveal it to you, but it, they hint at it earlier in the film, but you don't, you don't realize it until it actually hits, and it is a surprise to me, I really, in fact, that's the redeeming factor. No, I, the redeeming. I like the whole film. Anyway, so let's leave that alone. I actually went because uh, I'm only in Cape Town for a second, and I actually wanted to see the film Judy, uh, but the times wasn't right. Uh, things happened or whatever happened. No, why you want to see Judy? First of all, I see a lot of films. I just like films. And when you when you talk about uh, films about the ent entertains Hollywood, that kind of thing, I got sort of got to pay attention to. It. I read a lot of biographies, not a lot, but I read biographies. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, but Judy, I wanted to see Judy, and I still will see it some, sometime, somehow. Because um, I want to see how, if they met, mentioned Harry Anslinger, you know what I mean, the, 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 the guy that killed uh, Billie Holiday, that's what I say. You know, at the time, you know, for, first Billie Holiday and Judy was on drugs. Actually, you know, if you want, let throw three in there, you know, Edith Piaf, obviously, she was altered. <laughs> so, in the same era, you had Edith Piaf, Judy Garland, and a great Billie Holiday. Whoa! I would have loved to be live. See, anyway, back to the point. Um, so, so he, he, you know, he would. He, he told. Um, um, I got this from uh, uh, the guy. Uh, not, it's a, um, uh, honey, the, 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 the honey guy. He wrote this thing about drugs or whatever have you. So look it up. I'll, some sort of thing there. Um, but he told Billy. He told. Um, he hounded Billy Holiday, but he told Judy Garland the same situation. Said, "Oh no, no, just take a take a, take, take some rest, take it off." She didn't bother at all. But Judy, he did rather Billy Holiday. He just hounded her. I think mainly because mainly because he's a racist. Uh, but he was a racist. But remember, Billy Holiday's signature choice—he had to sing it all the time—was a strange fruit, and I, I just just set that boy off. Anyway, so he just hounded her. If I was a, a especially a female, if I was a female jazz musician, you know what I mean, a female singer, any whatever have you, and and if I was a jazz musician, I would I would do something with reparations with this whole uh, anslinger, you know, this whole thing. I would come down on them. I, I would just do something. I don't know what, but I do something, you know. So I just want to bring that up. And what was also interesting at the lobby of theater, what I noticed last night, because they show, a, I guess you Europe, I don't. But they show a lot of films, popular films, but you know, it's usually on, you know, the, uh, I don't want to say white side, but the white side. Um, so I was here last night, there had to be like 500 people, you know, there's, there's like four, four theaters, small, whatever. And uh, okay, three to 500 people. They were all white. I was the only black person here. Ah, <laughs> this is a night show, you know what I mean? 8.30 showing. 
Anyway, so that's kind of interesting. But you see, you say, well, well, still, why would you be interested in Judy Garland? Because I'm, I'm with the downtrodden. To me, Judy Garland was a downtrodden. Don't get me wrong, I'm not doing the black-white thing. I, 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 all I'm trying to say is she was beset upon, she was, you know, uh, uh, maligned, uh, raped, whatever it is, uh, unfairly. So she's part of the downtrodden class, even though she's of a middle, whatever. So that's my, that's all, that's what I always deal with, downtrodden. So man, I just wanted to carry briefly, give a little, little thing uh, here, because we're out here. Uh, actually, this is Croft from the Michaelis campus at the uh, University of, 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 of Cape Town. Uh, just a little geography for you. Uh, from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Well, actually, I'll be taking the, the plane to New York, but that's neither here nor there. See you soon.